here we are a lot earlier than we usually are but still lots of traffic here I actually started working half past five today in the morning and the roads on my way to work was totally empty so I got to work like five minutes earlier because the roads were so empty and all the traffic lights just turned green on me right away and that was really nice um, I am uh, ordering from eBay a uh, ISO camera static sort of mount so you can mount it on any camera mount with that big screw uh, from my this GoPro on my head so I was thinking I could mount it that it's fixed in somewhere like this position on the window and that way I will be able to record a lot more often and easier I had it on my earlier camera a contour which has it inbuilt this camera doesn't have it inbuilt you have to buy a mount for that so my old camera I had it uh, but um, <coughs> turn down the brightness on this shit uh, but the mount broke uh, the screw inside of the mount of the camera got like screwed too hard I screwed it too hard so I broke the screw or not the screw but the screw inside of the camera if you understand anyway today as you can see I'm driving a really nice Scania uh, it's a bit rotten here on the seat because I guess many fat guys have been using it as well as the the seat bouncing is, is ruined so you can't uh, make it stiff it's always bouncing or you turn it off and you go in the bottom like this and I don't want to drive like this so I have to bounce around so sorry if it's gonna be a bit bouncy you guys and of course I have a trailer connected to me uh, as usual um, the guys at the, the at my trucking company seems to like my uh, trailer driving so uh, they tend to uh, let me drive a lot of trailers so yeah, anyway, uh, today we're gonna go right across Stockholm as usual, underneath the tunnel, to the other side, to Solna, which I was to yesterday actually, but with a Volvo. Um, and then uh, we're gonna back up into that really hard tight spot where you got the railway coming up uh, on your right side and you got traffic coming up behind you and it's just KL. So it's good that we're early so maybe it's not that much traffic that we're gonna block last time yesterday I was lucky there so there wasn't like any traffic at all I just uh, rolled out to the left side let the traffic behind me pass and then I backed up nicely and when I finished the railway came uh, just in time and all of that so we're gonna see it's gonna be very interesting and I'm curious to see how it plays out today when I'm gonna back into that really tight spot today with the trailer so if you guys stick around watch the whole video here uh, you'll be able to see by the end there when I back up the trailer and it's gonna be freaking awesome I think I don't know about you guys but I really enjoy watching uh, myself drive <laughs> afterwards like seeing how I nailed my backing ups and stuff and for you who didn't know, I have a gaming channel as well called Bro Burga, where I have my simulator and I drive like uh, different cars and I do drifting and multiplayer twin tandem drifting with my online mates on my home simulator. So if you want to check that out, you can click in the link in the description or just type Bro Burga. Uh, I don't know if you can spell that, it's like a bro burger but with A instead of ER. Today I didn't sleep too well actually. Nice, he's letting us in. Thank you matey. 
gonna say a thank you, man. Of course. But you see, it's a lot easier for these guys to come in now here, and we are going to go straight anyway, so we can keep this lane. It's gonna be perfect. Like I've said now in my last couple of videos. You can see the globe popping up on our left. I always like that view, man. But the most beautiful view, I think, is when you go on the bridge into the city. That's really, really nice. Because uh, if you didn't know, Stockholm, you know, is it's pretty much built on islands. There's lots of islands and bridges over waters. So you can see some really nice views and landscapes if you drive on the right places. Jesus, this seat is bouncing. Oh, yeah. <laughs> There's this tight spot. Look at these lines, man. They're totally wrong. I can just fit in there. It's 2.6 meters or something. It should be 3. I think it should be. I don't know. TV2 Arena. So today it's not as bright as usually, but it's not so cloudy either, so it's a bit bright as well, even though it's so early. And I don't know what's wrong with this truck, it says uh, suspension error. I haven't got any suspension problems really, it works perfectly I think. Um, so I don't know if I'm gonna write the error report on that when I come home later, uh, we'll see. Um, definitely gonna try and uh, write the error report on the seat at least I think because the seat is freaking annoying and it's uh, like a working health issue or how do you say it oh we got a truck come up on the right now not really prepared for that I gotta always check your mirrors man I like that this truck has uh, windows here, as you can see, like over here. That's nice. And here's this beautiful view. Looking really nice. So many of you are probably wondering like what is my favorite brand? Well I've only driven Scania and Volvo and um, once on my old job I drove an old uh, Mercedes truck. But it wasn't actually that old, but it looked old. Many new trucks, that's from like 2011 and uh, less. They may look very old but they are actually pretty new. Uh, this Douche. Look at this guy, man. It's probably like, what am I doing in the left lane? And he overtakes me, and uh, now he's right in front of me anyway, and he's blocking my view. Okay, that's interesting. Um, entering, like, he was probably how far away from the truck? I think this far away. Would be funny if the truck here had to break. <laughs> Then you would see a really nice accident, huh? Where it's not nice, but you know, I would then I would have a title like "car crashing into truck" and it would probably get a lot of views, I guess. And I have a picture. I would have a picture of it, I guess. <laughs> I'm sure sometime when I record something will happen. I don't know. I'm just sure that I'm just sure that there's a big chance that I record so often. So there's a big chance that. It's just gonna happen sometime, man. Now we're gonna go to here. Gamla Storm. Old city place. Here we are. Boy, this chair is 
too annoying. I'm just gonna sit like this now. Fuck it. At least you'll be able to see some nicer. Looks nicer for you guys. <laughs> I feel really awkward. Feels like I'm sitting in a car now. Oh, this is weird. But it's nice that, I mean, it's nice because you can see a lot clearer, kind of. When I bounce around, I get confused. I'm definitely gonna write an error report of this bouncing seat. You're gonna have to fix that, man. Holy shit. It's horrible. Problem is, they don't, they don't like, they don't like book repairs right away. They, they wait for more drivers to get, a, to get a angry at it, and they wait for more complaints and then they're like oh, okay now we got many complaints time to fix it if there's only one driver they're like um, we're, gonna, we're gonna wait a bit to see if like more drivers feel the same but I don't think anybody had the guts to really write error reports all the time it is uh, a bit demanding people like ah, fuck it. I'm gonna drive a different truck tomorrow anyways oh I got this freaking taxi on the right Oh, there's always traffic here anyway. Ooh, that was close. You saw? It went really close there. Am I talking too much, you guys? I don't know. The problem is I'm recording this in the first or like... First era of March 2016. And I'm probably not gonna upload this until like way back. Like in uh, almost after two months from now that I'm oh that's a that's a different Volvo different Saab I was about to say a Volvo a Saab oh, shit man so tight in here I actually once drove into this but it was minimal damage lucky me learned a big lesson. Whew. I'm thinking about taking that way instead as a change, just to try it out. Doesn't say any warning or anything, but uh, yeah, I don't know. Maybe I should, I should just screw it and go this usual way anyway. So what you got here is actually a, uh, as you can see, a surf pad go on the internet I got uh, I don't know what is going on here but we got all kinds of stuff man we got the maps we got the uh, uh, economical driving thingy these guys are all going that way, man. I'm jealous. I wanna go that way. Do we feel ballsy today, you guys? I don't know. There's a lot of traffic there. All going very fast. Now, I'm, I'm gonna be very ashamed of myself. If I would've gone that way, I would already have gone into that lane. I I'll just record again later when uh, the traffic uh, gets better see ya Talking about um, people that's like been texting their number 
because girls have been uh, giving out their number to this radio station uh, when they've been dating guys and then the guys have texted and called uh, their, this number it's really funny no I don't want to work work quack quack uh, okay so now we're going up on the E4 here as you can see on the GPS and we're gonna go uh, to Solma for us and Dali then I don't know if you heard that you guys There's like a turbo boost release it Sounded really cool Well if you push the turbo really long and when it gets warm then it is warm like it is now And you release it Like this maybe No okay, it's usually when it, you change gear It's like poof I like that sound <laughs> Um, I was talking about earlier by the way, I forgot to like finish that about what truck I prefer and now I've driven a lot of Volvo and I drove a uh, Volvo from 2011 with 410 horsepower now the truck that that truck was really awesome because it had a lot of power it sounded really mean it had a powerful engine brake and uh, you know it was uh, very comfortable to sit in but I must say I take back if I've said Volvo is more comfortable than the Scania's the Scania is a lot more comfortable they smell nicer the air in the cabin is nicer and uh, you had a lot nicer steering wheel with so nice digital controls here as you can see I can just increase trip speedometer to whatever I want and it will increase the speed to that that amount instead of me having to push buttons on the side here um, until I reach my my designated speed now I can just digitally set the number to whatever I want and uh, the truck will do do its thing and if I want to do some rolling on I can simply do that and now it's in neutral and that's it in the Volvos they have to turn off the trip, turn off the automatic engine brake, turn on the engine brake and then eventually after a few seconds it goes into neutral. And um, you always have these volume and radio controls on the Scania which is a lot nicer and the volume or the speakers is a lot nicer. Um, the view outside of the cabin like how you look it's a lot nicer you can see more and the mirrors are usually more cleaner and they usually always have mirror warmers which for some reason most of the Volvos don't and I think that's just a huge minus because that's a must have in my opinion <sighs> now I don't really need the GPS now because I drove this yesterday and I still remember it of course so what truck do I prefer? Scania I've said it before I prefer Scania but I thought just the Scanias had more better handling and uh, was uh, nicer to drive because uh, they just felt nicer when you drove them and, and then I said Volvo is probably more comfortable, but now I take that back, man. I've totally changed my mind. Uh, Scania's is uh, a lot more comfortable.
gonna want to keep the right lane here because I don't want anybody stuck in my dead angle there when I turn to the left here and as you can see you can keep the right lane no problem sometimes it says it doesn't say that you can't keep the right lane <clears throat> but of course you can anyway you just gotta be prepared for the guys on the left to be some of them might want to go straight so you guys gotta pre prepare for that and clearly show what you're doing by turning on your blinkers here to the left really early now we don't have anyone on the left so it's no problem Now you're probably gonna hear this turbo sound. Yeah, there it was, but you probably can't hear it as, as clearly as I do. almost at our desti destination um, four minutes left I don't know what happened to this uh, echo driving it's just it says here Breaked out energy 67%. That is just way too much. How how is that possible? It's all red. I have driven perfectly fine. Like I've even braked more carefully than you should uh, should do. I don't know. I'm confused. And this roll on was at 90% before we entered the city. Zero gas, what the, I was at 99% for some odd reason. So, this thing is freaking wrong all the time. I think also, by the way, when I get my uh, mirror suction cup mount, which is probably like in two or three weeks, because it takes so long from eBay, uh, then you will have you will see a lot uh, nicer. You will see uh, more stable footage. And I think then I'm not gonna talk so much now. I'm gonna now I'm talking quite a lot because I got a lot to say about the trucks and everything, but I don't want to repeat it every time. So. By the time I get that, I will probably have not so much to talk about, and uh, it's not going to be necessary for me to talk anyway, because uh, it's going to be so nice with that stable footage. So you, you just want to have to li you just want to listen to the engine sound and like pay, pay attention to surroundings and not me talking. All right, so now we are here, <clears throat> and there's no cars behind us actually, so. Just gonna turn on our warning blinkers. Um, I don't know where the reverse light is. Screw it. There's one of those. These. Yeah, 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 yeah. So that's our where we're gonna back up into. Somebody actually backed up into this thing. Holy shit! That wasn't like that yesterday, was it? That looks like it recently happened. Okay, 
they want to start turning in about now. A bit too late, actually. Yeah, let's try and do this a little bit more early. So you see, you got the railway coming here and stuff. And now we got a car behind us. Stupid ass car. I think he can overtake us. Okay, now we're gonna go oh, pretty hard here on the curve. But I'd rather do that and uh, hit the stuff behind us. So you wanna go in really early here, that's like the, your only, your best shot. Sneak past us, yeah, no problem. Uh, sure. Go right ahead, Pidgeot. Pidgeot. It sounds like idiot. <laughs> like all, all the dri who drive Pidgeot are idiots. Oh shit. Whoa, he should have honked, man. That was scary. They they always honk. Sometimes, so, uh, once I got stuck in an intersection a bit, because I didn't uh, pay attention uh, to the traffic lights, I, I drive kind of like against yellow. And the railway just honked and honked and honked, even when I backed up all, almost all the way, it kept honking. Okay, so there we are, you can see the wide angle mirror there, clearly how how nicely and neatly I back up. Oh shit, we're almost about to hit the wall. Or, oh, we're good? I don't know. The first time so I did this, oh yeah, we're about to hit the wall. <laughs> um, as I was gonna say, the first time so we got a truck now, shit, I'm coming up on our right. I almost hit the wall the first time I did this, and the first, absolute first times. It's nice when it have rained like this, then you can see the lines on the road. So I can see I'm pretty far away, actually, from the from the, uh, the building, or not so far away, actually. If you look at that mirror, that's very close. <coughs> Okay, so I'm gonna ho have to jump out now and open up the doors. Uh, as I was gonna say earlier, I didn't turn in this early. As you can see here, my my tires are gone, and I almost hit this. And I can actually see that probably some truck has hit that traffic sign. So catch you guys later. Thanks for watching. Please leave a like, comment, share, and subscribe.